Welcome to the world of Nietzsche's One. My name is Lady Juliet. Hello to my awesome subscribers. Thank you all so much for subscribing. Truly appreciated. And hello and welcome to the viewers. Today's video is about a trending story that caught my attention for specific reasons. At the center of this trending story, is a business I have patronized on numerous occasions while living in California. The name of the business is Cheesecake Factory. My experiences dining in these restaurants in various branches of these restaurants has been delightful. Cheesecake Factory is one of my favorite restaurants. I can categorically state that Cheesecake Factory, despite it being a chain restaurant, is clearly not a fast food restaurant. The Cheesecake Factory restaurant is not a cheap place to eat by any stretch of the imagination. A quick disclaimer here, I have not been paid by the management of Cheesecake Factory or the owners. I am not promoting Cheesecake Factory on this platform or any platform. I simply love to eat in this restaurant. Now with that out of the way, on to the story. I would like to delve into this trending story by telling you the story, sharing a clip of the story, then in conclusion share my thoughts. A man met a woman in a bar and was attracted to her. He didn't hesitate to let her know. After this initial meeting in the bar, they kept in touch. One day, they arranged their very first date. The gentleman arrived promptly at four o'clock as agreed. The woman, on the other hand, arrived one hour late for her date. She kept her date waiting for one whole hour outside her apartment. The man drove to a cheesecake factory restaurant for their date. On arriving at the venue, the woman refused to step out of the car to go dine in the cheesecake factory restaurant. Instead, she pulled out her phone, went live to broadcast to her fans and viewers that her date took her to a cheesecake factory restaurant and that she was just too good to eat in a cheesecake factory restaurant. So here are my views. Number one, this woman was late, was one hour late to her very first date. Her date sat in a car waiting for her for one whole hour before she showed up. Quick question here, will she be one hour late to a job interview? First dates almost feel like a job interview if you're searching for the right person. Efforts go into sprucing up physical appearance and a ticket. It's about putting your best foot forward. One hour late to a first date is indicative of the fact that this woman has little or no concept of dating etiquette. As for the man, his behavior said a lot about his character. Where most men would have terminated the date after 15-20 minutes with time, he waited a whole hour indicative of a patient disposition. Two, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Where is the respect for self and respect for her date in this whole story? I couldn't find any, none at all. For the most part of that short video clip you just watched, this woman made very little eye contact with her date. She was more focused on her camera and the live broadcast. Dating is meant to be a personal matter. Some things are meant to be kept private and exclusive. There's nothing romantic about sharing your dating experience live for the whole world to see. What really was the point of a live broadcast? Immature move that sought to embarrass and 
humiliate her date. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Respect is one of the key foundational blocks on which relationships are built, whether it's personal or business. Number three, the cost to dine in a cheesecake factory for two is about a hundred dollars or more. This woman refused to step out of the car to go eat in a cheesecake restaurant, citing she was just too good for cheesecake factory restaurant. Preposterous nonsense. Is she royalty? What exactly makes this woman feel she's too good to dine in a cheesecake restaurant? Please leave your comment below. All I see is a woman who has a bloated sense of self-importance and entitlement. Number four, throughout the whole drama, when this woman refused to step out of the car and all that nonsensical rant about too good to eat in a cheesecake factory, this gentleman kept his school where most men would have ordered her out of their car and leave her on the curb. Number five, my final thought on this trending story. This man was truly looking for romance. He was looking for love. Rather unfortunately, he got attracted to the wrong woman. He dodged a bullet. I pray the good Lord would lead him to the right woman. She's out there somewhere. All he has to do is keep looking. This woman was clearly not looking for love, not on this date. She was in it for free food and content for her social media channel. This woman appears to be living her life for social media likes and views. This begs the question, will social media likes and views meet her emotional needs? She's not exactly spring chicken. Will social media likes and views Keep her warm on cold nights. Miss I'm too good for cheesecake factory restaurant needs to make an important decision about what's truly important in her life. Let's meet in the comment section and continue the discussion on this trending story. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Help me grow this channel organically. Best wishes always. Bye for now.